this is the current situation. Battery is dead. Gotta fix it quick. And the parking lot. No big deal. No big deal. So my kids are currently outside sledding. I am going to take this opportunity to uh, gift wrap all the Christmas presents and then I gotta steal it from Hunter. Happy one year to Hunter, by the way. You big boy. Uh, he gets into everything. I got this at Cabela's. Um, it is a brewmate. It was $25, I think, which is kind of expensive in the mermaid because that was the cutest one they had in this size. And anyway, it's going to... Anyway, so um, I'm going to try and make a vinyl for it today, a camper vinyl um, because it's for the camper. And we're going camping soon. So I want to get that done. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, I'm going to try and keep up with this uh, video and do a voiceover at the same time. I am measuring my cup right now and I felt that something roughly three by five would be the best size. So this is the camper design that I chose and it is basically like three by four little over four and even then it was still a little long but um hey I can't make this design too small or it would be impossible to weed and then what I'm going to do is go to my vinyl area and pick one out um as you can see Hunter got to my beautiful lilac Ugh, I need to order more and I ended up choosing this beautiful opal that I found at Walmart, of all places. Walmart is starting to carry um, cricket stuff. So that's exciting. Um, I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit later, how I feel about it. Um, I mean, every vinyl company is so different. It's wild how vastly different the... Um, vinyl can feel and the tackiness and the how easy it is to weed but anyway um, more on that in a minute I am just getting it ready to go on to my sticky mat which I found on Amazon by the way you get a pack of three of these which is an amazing, amazing deal. I'll make sure I link that down below. Amazon is such an amazing resource. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Everybody uses Amazon. So here my um, portrait two is starting to cut it out. And now I'm gonna start the weeding process. Now I'm going to be 100% honest, this is not easy to weed at all. I have tried, oh, how many different brands at this point? About four, five, five, no, at least five different brands. And this is by far the hardest to weed. It just, um, it's very hard to pick up with my little doohickey tool there i have no idea what it's called but it's like as you can see um it's quite pointy at the end um and it just um so the this area with the sunburst it was pretty easy to weed but boy once i got into some of those finer areas uh, it was just a struggle so maybe um it's because my settings are wrong and i need to um instead of cut it at 12 maybe it needs to be like 14. I don't know. I'm going to have to experiment because this was my very first time using this stuff. Now, here I'm using that Craftables transfer tape that I was talking about in an earlier video. Guys, it is the best I've tried. It is so good. And I love that it has the grid on there to help you, like, you know, keep everything nice and straight. So, 
you know, bonus. And I really, 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 really burnished this. Tried to get it on the first go and, oh, and this is, this is not my favorite vinyl so far. I mean, I, I know that there's like a learning curve, but getting the vinyl onto the transfer tape took some finessing and patience. As you can see, <laughs> like, uh, but I got there. You just have to keep, you know, like burnishing and helping it along. Ta-da! All right, it's ready to be transferred onto the cup. I think I chose the opal because I felt like that would match um, the paint of the cup quite well. Now I, I noticed that there's like all sorts of like fingerprints and whatever. So I wanted to give this the best shot at success. So I'm using my isopropyl alcohol first just to completely clean the area. And then I try and lay it down perfectly straight and where I want it, which was not easy, not easy at all. And I kind of like used my fingers at first to smooth everything down. And then I was like, I don't know what to do. So I got my card and I was like, oh, I'll just burnish it. And that didn't work out that well because, um, you know, the cup is round and the card's not. So <laughs> I started using my fingers again. I've never done this before, um, like on a cup. So that was, it was interesting. It was interesting to say the least. But I think it turned out really well. Time will tell. Does it stay on after a couple washings or does it fall apart? We'll find out. But thank you guys so much for watching today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.